Okay, guys, we're back at Beefed Up Customs. But today, me and Axel are going to be heading out on an employee camping trip. That's right. Since it's just me and Axel working here, we're going to load up a couple of trucks. We're going to go buy some toy hauler campers, some off-road vehicles, and go hit the new campgrounds. They just built in a new set of trails and other cool stuff in this town. It's probably about maybe five miles away, so not too far. And we're going to go check it out since it is time to go have some fun here in Mini Brun, Iowa. We've had yet to explore the whole place besides the gas station. The dealership's been good. We've sold a few trucks truck so far. Action hasn't been crazy though. I think we need to run some advertising campaigns, maybe do some off-roading events. That could be cool. We're going to wait till Axel pulls up and then we're going to order some custom campers and off-road vehicles and then we'll hit the trails today. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Axel is pulling in in his Ford pickup truck. That thing is sweet too. It's the Shelby edition truck, but I don't think he's going to be able to bring that today because it's not the best for towing a big camper, but let's go check this thing out while he's here. Hey, Axel. How's it going, man? Good morning. Hey there. How's it going? Not too bad to too bad i was just looking at the truck i barely got to drive this thing you think i could take it for a spin before we go of course uh, since i'm gonna be borrowing one of your trucks that's what i was guessing you know we've got a few trucks that you could take for the camping trip but i don't think uh the f-150 is suited for the toy hauler i would agree uh, i was looking at the ford over there oh the raptor yeah that could be a great truck for the camping trip because you know it can go off-roading and whatever else yep yep go take my shelby for a spin and uh we'll be ready to go all right sounds good uh see you in a minute check this thing out guys it's so clean look at the red stitching the shelby edition carbon fiber accents everywhere and this thing probably sounds pretty good here we go i'm gonna fire it up yeah it should start any second now oh there we go took a few seconds but oh it sounds loud man the cold start oh rev it up a little bit there sounds good 775 horsepower all right i'll be right back axel see you in a few well this thing's pretty cool this is axel's like project truck we're gonna take it for a spin see how fast it can go on the main roads there oh it turns pretty good too here we go crank a left there and let's hit it boys oh yeah this thing sounds good v8 baby oh we're flying now i know how axel gets to work so quick he may or may not be speeding but uh other than that this truck is pretty cool i'd have to say the blue makes it even better so me and axel are gonna take a look at the camping store see if there's anything that we like and then obviously we're gonna need an off-road toy to go on the trail so each of us will have our own which would be pretty cool so we're pulling in he did say he wants us to uh take it around back and put it in the garage because we are going overnight for the camping trip so he wants to keep it locked up so nobody steals it so we'll go put it in the back here for him and then that way it's all locked up while we're gone camping so it looks good we got the mustang here too the dark horse i think this has got the same engine is that one might be a little different though but they're definitely both v8 so that's pretty sweet all right let's go see where axel's at hey susan have you seen axel where did he go oh okay there he is hey axel what's up man hey you ready to go camping yeah yeah i think so uh what do you want to look at here let's uh, take a look at the store we're gonna buy some campers and then we'll grab our trucks and go pick them up all right sounds like a deal let's take a look all right axel we got a few different options here for you the voltage camper the 40 foot or you can get the 43 foot summit camper the fifth wheel we got a few different options and then we've also got the wheel edit which i think this is uh custom edition i think it's got a pretty nice interior in there too so maybe we can have one camper for sleeping which could be this one because it's got like two beds i think and then we could have maybe a hall camper or trailer yeah it sounds like a good idea how about you buy this one and uh make sure you put chrome rims on it yep already on it there we go we're gonna buy this one for our main sleeping camper and then we're gonna buy a trailer right yep trailer sounds like a plan all right i think we're just gonna buy a simple trailer here this is the 24 foot gooseneck pj this should be pretty good guys we're gonna hook this up to one of the trucks and then uh uh, we're both going to be taking lifted trucks too. So the Raptor would be good to pull this thing because it'll be a little bit lighter than the camper there. We got our trailers. Now we need some off-road vehicles. What are you thinking, Axel? Uh, I'm thinking maybe a nice Polaris, a couple dirt bikes. What do you think? Yeah, let's go take a look at the Polaris store. All right, we've made it to Polaris. Hello, they've got a few different options here. So it looks like mostly off-road UTVs, ATVs. They don't have dirt bikes. They do have snowmobiles though. So maybe if it starts snowing, we go snowmobiling. I highly doubt it'll snow, but uh, that would be pretty cool. And we'll go in the winter time. But anyhow, let's see you if we can do a cool Polaris here. We need something good on the trails. I think the General will be a great option. What do you think? Yep, and we can also put some firewood in the back there. Yep, yep. Firewood's a good spot right in the back. That looks good. Okay, what color options? Wheels? Let's see. We got a few different options of this. We're gonna go with the wide wheels. Better stability on the trails, too. And then, uh, let's see what we can do for the engine option. 320 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. Then the color we're gonna go with is this one. The red. That looks pretty cool. It's like a red and white theme. And the suspension will do the red shocks as well, like that. That looks pretty sweet. Got a winch on the front. Does this look good, Axel? Yep, you can drive that, and I get to pick out mine. All right, did you see anything in the player store, or should we move over to Can Am? Let's take a look at Can Am. All right, Axel, we're here. We actually got some four wheelers finally. So if you want any of these, there's a six by six one, and then there's a four wheeler, 1000 Can Am Outlander. We've got Can Am Maverick, so we got two of them, two door, four door, and that's pretty much all we got. You see anything that catches your eye here? Yeah, I kind of like that four wheeler, the uh, Outlander. Oh, okay, we got a few different ones. The four by four one? Yep, that seems like a good one. Customize that. All right, this one starts pretty basic, so. 
all right let's do some wheel options okay i think this one looks the best and then let me know if you don't like anything but we're gonna put some mud swampers on this thing there we go Ooh, we can actually add a couple of different sea options too but i kind of just like that one there we go we're gonna add the mirrors on it so you can see me in the trails behind or actually uh you'll probably we've got a beacon that can go on the back that's pretty cool should we add that yep looks like a orange beacon yeah that way you can see me at night if we go uh night trail riding which is possible and then we can add a snow plow on it that's pretty cool we don't need that though we're gonna take uh, that off the capacity we can add a cooler a yeti cooler that's pretty sweet and then a gas canister so we're gonna add that what color would you like i want a lime green lime green that's interesting i haven't really heard that before okay let's see we got a john deerish green i don't know if i have a lime okay there we go that's a lime green for you how's it look looks good buy it Sixteen thousand. all right we got all of our stuff let's go pick it up with axel and you're taking the raptor sound good sounds like a plan all right he wanted me to get this thing off the lift for him but we're taking the raptor finally and this thing can go on the trails too so we've kind of got like three off-road vehicles but oh this thing is cool boy check it out i think we can adjust the suspension like that look at this thing it can lift up even more but we'd like to leave it lower because it's not as top heavy there we do need to slide a trailer hitch there and then uh we'll be able to hook up to a trailer we actually have a uh, gooseneck trailer i think so we should probably put that in the back too so he's gonna take it into the shop axel you go ahead uh, get that ready to go all right i'll be right back just gonna get that all attached if you guys didn't know he is our head mechanic here so he's gonna go ahead add that stuff and then we'll be ready to roll out all right looks like he got that thing all ready to roll so we're gonna take the f450 there here's the raptor how's it looking axel all good can't really see up there there we go yeah we're ready to roll let's go pick up these campers and head out there all right good thing is we don't have too far a drive so we got plenty of daylight but here we go guys we're gonna take the f450 the dualies a limited package too this thing's pretty sweet and uh we'll be following behind axel he's gonna lead us to the camping store and yeah it should go pretty well all right he is not wasted any time he's ready to actually leave the dealership already and i'm just pulling out of the parking spot so all right let's get there i think it's actually taking a right hand turn we're going into town a little bit but the nice thing is is the campgrounds are in that direction too so all right let's follow behind them whoa he is moving in that raptor that thing is fast all right here we go boys all right i guess we'll just have to meet him there he's already going into town so i'll see you guys when we're pulling in all righty we are approaching the shop we're picking everything up here oh looks like axel's already made it here he's already got his trailer hooked up too that's pretty crazy all right let's back up we're the ones taking the camper here and this thing is pretty nice inside we're gonna check it out right now so there we go drop the tailgate down all right we got this thing hooked up so we need to open the door let's see the door's on the other side so that we can go check it out inside Ooh, fold out steps don't mind if i do here we go whoa this thing is clean are those massaging chairs no i think those are just normal recliners but that's nice to have we're going glamping boys oh my gosh this thing is nice we got a full kitchen too with an island an oven a full-size refrigerator how'd they get that thing in here and then you got a specialty forged rim as a uh i don't know decoration that's pretty interesting and then let's move up to here i think there's one bedroom up there someone's gonna have to sleep uh, on the couch there i think uh that has to be axel all right so up front we've got an entire queen size bed this thing is insane for a camper i mean come on look at the closets you get enough closet space if you could live in here too more closets out there and then i think there's one bathroom in there so we'll have to go check that out next all right so we're already here we're gonna fold everything back in because there is some fold outs on the side there that uh do extend so that's how it makes that entire like living room this thing is super compact when it's folded up i'll actually show you guys look at how much smaller the room gets the closets come in all the way through here so all these closets kind of fold out which is pretty nice and then the living room look at how close it is in here so there's so much more space i mean it's half the tv which is pretty interesting yeah that's the full camper i think axel's ready to roll here we've just got to load up the off-road toys here's how they turned out the outlander which is going to be axel's and then we've got my polaris here so we're gonna load these things up on the trailer and we'll be heading out of here all right axel's gonna pull the trailer forward that way we can get everything loaded up so we're gonna be blocking off part of the street for now we're gonna load up the polaris first and then oh this thing is quick that was just on startup okay hold on let's wrap it down all right looks good then the next up is the outlander load this thing up this is gonna be pretty fun too i like the mud swamper so whoever gets stuck first both vehicles have got winches works out pretty well there we go outlander's up so all right axel we're ready to roll man is he honking his horn what kind of horn is that it's a musical horn i didn't know it had that all righty there we go he's gonna back up probably there we go he's gonna readjust oh geez okay axel he might have to readjust there all right he's got it now crank it there we go all right so we're gonna head to the campgrounds which is right down to the left of the road so he's gonna swing down there we're gonna follow behind in the f450 so it should turn out pretty well Yo, can you hear me on the radio? yeah i can hear you loud and clear i'll be right behind you might have to swing pretty wide to get out of this camping area there we go 
crank it around the fence. All right, now we're ready. Go ahead, hang a left, Axel. I'm right behind you. All right, we're moving now towards the campground. Like I said, we're probably about three miles from here. So just at the end of this road. Oh, geez, why is he breaking? Speed it up there, Axel. Come on, man. There we go. I think the Raptor might actually be struggling to pull that load. I mean, it is a little heavy. The trailer is pretty heavy too. So, oh, are we here? I think this is the spot. We're going to take a right-hand turn. I think this is it. Oh, yeah, Axel missed it. Okay, uh, here's the campgrounds. You got to go through these trails to get here. But it's actually pretty nice. This is one of the higher end camping spots and it's got your own whole like area to grill crank a left here there's an abandoned shed and farm right there so uh yeah some developer came in built these three different uh airbnb rental properties just for people to park their campers at works out pretty good he rents out like the space uh i would say watch this i think axel knows where we're going now he's gonna crank it through the woods ready this is a specialty in the four raptor look at that thing go boys here he comes he's made it to camp oh, okay look at that thing though looks pretty good ramps going down on the trailer all right we have made it to camp boys check it out we got our own pergola seating area we've got uh the grill obviously we're gonna be grilling out and the views are pretty good i like the views the sunsets are gonna be nice too and then the trails are the big thing we're gonna be doing today so let's get the off-road toys off axel's in the general there i'm in his outlander we're gonna switch really quickly oh geez okay and then we're ready to hit the trails all right axel i'll jump in this thing man you grab your outlander all right sounds like a deal uh yeah you want to follow me or i follow you uh, i'd say maybe you follow me this time how about that sounds good i'll be uh right behind you all right axel make sure you put a helmet on that thing it might be a little dangerous oh i might need one for this one too this thing is quick i think we're gonna do that all right since we have no windshield this is actually gonna be good too we got some goggles so if any mud flies in our face we'll be all right here we go we're jumping on the trails boys look at this thing i don't think i'm gonna stay with axel we're gonna try and go on our own because this thing's a little bit faster than that so oh, oh, oh hang on right yeah this thing is sweet so there's a couple different trails you can take you can go left right we're gonna go right this should take us past all the fields for the farmer and then it kind of just goes through all the fields and then take a right here we'll be going by the pond so it's kind of like a little racetrack circuit i wonder if maybe axel would want to race but oh okay that's why you need a helmet jeez we're flipping over here but all right let's head on back i think axel's probably almost done with the trails and then we'll uh, line it up for a race there he is mr axel all right oh he's moving in that thing i think he wants to race he's doing some donuts jeez check it out all right all right to line this thing up axel let's go yeah how about winner gets a hundred dollars hundred dollars that sounds like a plan man uh i think we should line up at the start over here so let's go back right here and then obviously first one to complete the circuit wins so here we go we'll take the left side and then axel you can take the right all right, the way. All right axel here we go oh okay he's hitting everything today on the count of three we're gonna go racers ready three two one hit it oh jeez! into the tree all right i think we actually have this one off the jump i don't see him in our rear view oh we're flying we're definitely winning as long as we don't hit another tree oh okay hold on where's the trail where's the trail here it is here it is we're back on track take a right there we go sharp right turn i don't see any sign of him let's crank a right and then look behind us see where he's at there he is there he is all right uh right here right here oh we almost went into the pond okay hit the jump oh 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 land it come on come on come on oh that was a perfect landing okay i think we've got this one boys here we go finish line there we go and that's a hundred dollars more in our pocket all righty hey what was that what do you mean what was what uh everything okay oh you cheated back there on that first turn no 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 no. i got back on track i think it's all good all right fine but you, you're paying for dinner all right i'll pay for dinner sounds good all right axel well that concludes our camping trip you have anything to say america Yee -yee. all right boys well that concludes the beefed up customs employee camping trip the first and definitely not the last it was a ton of fun guys i hope you did enjoy and if you guys want to see us go camping again before fs25 releases make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one